Hi there! My name is Dana, this is Zine Reviews, and today the topic of the video is zines that you can subscribe to on Patreon. One of my favorite things about collecting zines is opening the mailbox and seeing it stuffed full of envelopes, and inside you know are going to be brand new zines that you cannot wait to read. One of the easiest ways to ensure I'm going to get zine mail on a pretty regular basis is by subscribing to my favorite zinesters on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is a way that you can subscribe to your favorite creators and pay them a little bit of money each month, and in turn, you get access to something they've created. Anyways, that's Patreon, but you're here for the zines. Let's get started. When I heard that Anna Jo Beck was starting a Patreon, I knew I had to become a subscriber. I've hung out with her on a few occasions, and she's just delightful. Her zines are just as clever and creative and convivial as she is, so I knew that her Patreon would be great. And it is. All of the zines featured are Patreon exclusives that you can only get by being a subscriber, which is pretty cool. And the topics are wonderfully random. Everything from a thrift store fanzine to candy reviews. I want to highlight an ode to my apartment. It's a tender and loving eulogy for the apartment that Anna and her husband shared for many years. As they get ready to move to a different apartment, Anna constructs this beautiful, observant poem. She writes, I wish we could take care of you, glue in what is loose, fill in your gaps, and level your slopes. Thank you for being our home for now. It's a really touching zine, and I feel so lucky to have a copy of it. It's a perfect example of how cool it is to subscribe to a Patreon where you get exclusive zines that you're only going to find there. You can become a subscriber to Anna's Zine a Month Subscription Club for a flat and simple $5 a month. It's super simple, super easy, and I can't recommend it enough. Cyclista Zine is, in their own words, the radical intersectional feminist response to mainstream cycling culture. Created to shed light on the lack of inclusion of underrepresented communities in cycling and to disrupt the usual narratives of who rides bikes. As someone who rides their bike daily, but rarely feels connected to mainstream depictions of cyclists, I am so happy that this project exists. I bike for community and to feel connected to a place. So often cycling is portrayed as a competition, whether it be one of racing or status. But that isn't what bikes are to me, and it isn't what bikes are to cyclista zine. It is so refreshing to see bikes represented as a tool for liberation, rather than a sport or expensive hobby. Issue 4 contains essays, illustrations, and photos. I especially connected with If You Don't Mind by Jess Kim. It tugged at my heartstrings, and I'm totally not ashamed to admit that it made me cry a little. I love that cyclista zine makes a point to uplift and highlight BIPOC, fat, queer, and other underrepresented voices in mainstream cycling media. This is cycling as transformation, validation, liberation, unfiltered and unfazed, ready to break through and make change. You can become a zine hero when you subscribe to their Patreon at the $5 a month level. It gets you access to digital copies of all issues. You can also upgrade to a premium subscription at $10 a month to receive quarterly print issues. You Don't Get There From Here by Carrie McNinch is easily my favorite diary comic, and it's near the top of my list of favorite perzines. I could have chosen any issue to highlight in this video, but I especially like number 55. It features so many of the elements that make up my favorite issues of You Don't Get There From Here. In it, Carrie deals with big changes. You get the good days, the bad days, and all the in-betweens. A true slice of life. In just three frames a day, Carrie builds a picture of her entire world. You'll get to know her pet cats, her friends, their families, and you'll start to feel like you really know Carrie. In this way, reading diary comics kind of makes me think about parasocial relationships and how they work in zines, but that's probably a topic for a different video. We're here to talk about Patreon. You can subscribe at the $5 I like what I see level to receive new issues of the zine, as well as access to diary comics digitally as they're drawn, or the $10 I want more level to get extra surprises in the mail. 
You can also subscribe at just $1 a month to see only the diary comics. Ulterior Zines is a project created by Alexa Lima to spotlight BIPOC artists and share information on zine making through community discourse. Their zines are unexpected and bold and have become some of my favorites in my collection. So when I heard that Alexa was starting a Patreon, I jumped at the chance to become a member. Each month, subscribers get a Patreon-exclusive mini-zine. Each issue poses a question that the community can respond to on the Patreon page, creating conversation. For example, here's the first mini an existentialist query that explores what the void is and asks the reader to consider if and how they're taking control of their life. I think that the Ulterior Zines Patreon subscription would be a great gift for folks just getting into zines. All patrons get a mini zine starter kit with a copy of Alexa's 123 zine handout, as well as a blank pre-folded mini and stickers. Subscriptions start at $5 a month, and the $10 and $20 tiers also get the monthly Patreon-exclusive mini-zine, as well as art prints. Crafter DIY is a project by Alyssa Giannani, the creator of DoDIY.org, an international catalog of DIY music venues. In addition to publishing The Great Perzine Wanderer, they also put together compilations, such as Best Show Ever, a celebration of live DIY music. The intro of the zine describes it best. This zine is a love letter to the basements and community spaces that felt like home. The songs that live on mixtapes and CDs in our headphones and in our hearts, right up until the moment when we go to yell the words in person with a bunch of smiling strangers. This zine is dedicated to the bands and crowds that made us feel less alone, a nod to some of the best nights of our lives. Best Show Ever is so full of heart. This scene reminded me of that amazing feeling you have at a DIY show, and it made me really happy. I especially resonated with Diego Romero Aros' submission, which described the camaraderie of a punk show so perfectly, and Dakota Floyd's retelling of a basement show in New Hampshire. Reading other people's experiences with DIY shows just reminded me why I love that scene so much. $10 a month gets you a subscription to new copies of every zine Alyssa makes, plus their per zine newsletter, and access to their digital zine archive. You can also subscribe at the $5 level to get access to just the digital archive, or splurge at $25 and get a custom zine created just for you by Crafter DIY. This has been so much fun. The zines I subscribe to on Patreon are some of my favorite titles, so getting to share them with you was really great. I hope you check out their Patreon pages and subscribe to them. Also, if you already subscribe to Zinesters on Patreon, let me know who they are in the comments so I can check them out. Till next time, see you later Zinesters.